inquiring minds want to know how strong are swivels and snap links well I'm about to find out I'm frustrated you go out and you buy some swivels or snap links and while they tell you what the size is on the package a lot of these don't tell you how strong they are so how do you know if you're gonna get a good swivel or not that's gonna match up and be compatible with the pound test rating of your line after all if you put 20 pound test on you don't want to have a 10 pound swivel because that'll defeat the purpose so I decided to go ahead and research this and boy the answers were all over the place I decided to just go with size 10 because it's a size I like and you can see here as we flip through the different websites I looked at and product descriptions that the pound test rating of a size 10 can range from around 17 pounds all the way up to 30. I <laughs> wonder how they got that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and test this, and then we're going to talk about which type of swivel that I prefer to use. I bought these. They're the weak kind because I want to do the test. So I've got two 10-pound weights here, and if these size tenors are actually 20 pounds which seems to be the consensus I should be able to lift these weights up gently with the swivel and not have it break let's check it out I've got it all rigged up here I've threaded the paracord through the swivel it is not stressing the two sides of the swivel and I'm grabbing it up here at the top and we will just gently lift up and see if this is 20 pounds Well, guess not. Let me try that again with a different swivel, and I think I'll use a different size cord as well. I switched it out from the paracord into the swivel to 30 pound mono just to make sure that it's going to mimic a fishing line. Now, let's go ahead and lift up. Again, it broke. So clearly, these eagle claws are not 20 pound rated. Well, let me try it with 15 pounds and let's see what happens then. We're ready to redo the test with a 15 pound weight. And it fails again. Whoa. Now, that is interesting. And I'll tell you why I think it's gonna fail. Let me show you a different swivel that I think is also size 10 although it's not right out of the package. Here's the basic problem I see with this type of swivel. When you look at how it goes into the catch, it's basically just a straight run, and that's it. Whereas if you get this style, it's got a little piece of metal right here that when you clip it in, acts as another catch to keep this from coming loose. Now this isn't a size 10, so I can't do the test with it, but I do have a size 10 snap lock that I've rigged up as a swivel, and we'll redo the test with it. So this is pretty close to being a size 10, and it's got the safety catch that we just talked about. So let's redo the test with this style. I'm all rigged up, let's see how it goes. And you can see that this one is holding 15 pounds just fine. Let's try it with 20. Okay, gentle reach up. And you can see it passes the test. Let's summarize using my expensively produced training aid here. And you can see the results. If you've got any swivels that look like this you need to just get rid of them all i've got a bunch because i've been using these for a long time and i'm going to switch them out to the stronger version probably it didn't matter in the past because i wasn't really catching big massive redfish that'll fight you for 10 minutes but i've got 20 pound tests on my reels and so i want to be sure that the terminal tackle will be able to deal with 20 pound tests as well Bottom line, get rid of these swivels and get something with that little hook on it 
that's going to give you the extra grab and the extra strength you need to not lose that beautiful fish. What do you guys think? Are you frustrated by the fact that these companies don't tell us what the pound test rating is of their gear? It drives me nuts. Throw the comments down below. Thanks.